We have a decision. The Colorado High School Activities Association announced plans today for school sports, allowing families to start making plans as we inch closer to the start of school. Okay, so here's the breakdown. This plan includes four seven week sports seasons broken down into season A, B, C and D. Season A, which is allowed to begin this month, includes softball, boys tennis, cross country and boys golf. Season B, which will run from January to early March, includes your winter sports, basketball, swimming, cheer, wrestling, ice hockey and skiing. Now football is going to be played in season C, which runs from March to May and will also include boys soccer, gymnastics, bowling, field hockey and volleyball. Then season D will run from April to June for baseball, girls golf, lacrosse, track and field and girls soccer. And tonight in a 360 follow up, we are hearing from Chassa leaders on this decision. Reaction from athletes, coaches, and the governor. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn joins us live tonight. Russell, this is a tough night, though, for some high school athletes. Yeah, Shannon, they just wanted to play. Unfortunately, at stadiums like this one at South High, there will be no Friday night lights. They, these stadiums will remain dark, at least through the fall. Ready, go! While the intensity still exists out here, Oh, There's no question some of the excitement is now gone. You've been hoping for so long that we just get to go play in the fall like we plan on. Let's start there with Thunder Ridge head football coach Doug Nissenson, who understandably has mixed emotions about a postponed season. Personally, I believe if it's safe to go in there, it's safe to be out here. Um, but at the same time, I, I respect the caution. Um, that's been put into this. Nissenson says one of his biggest concerns is for senior recruits and how this might derail their future plans in football and beyond. There's a lot of kids who are losing more than just football games, more than just scholarship opportunities. It's potentially resources that will change their future. One of those recruits is Tyson Lambert, all-state senior linebacker for Thunder Ridge. Yeah, I was planning on going and playing to college. I'm talking to a couple schools. Yale is among those schools and the potential of an Ivy League education. It's not as what we hoped for, but we have an opportunity to play, which is what I guess all we can ask for. Leaders with Chassa say this new sports calendar does allow flexibility. But at least now we have time to plan. We're not reacting. And Commissioner Rhonda Blanford Green indicated sports like football and soccer can still practice. You can have coach athlete contact. You can find ways to engage your kids for their well being, social, and mental health that doesn't include competition. Governor Polis says it will be different, but there's a commitment to making it work. Obviously if there is a coronavirus outbreak on a team or at a school, uh, there will be scheduling changes. There will be games missed. And that brings us back to school leaders who argue the engagement of activities is invaluable. Most of them are saying we're OK taking the risk. We're OK. We understand that there's there's a chance that someone's going to get sick. It's going to happen at some point. There's also a lot of kids who they need football to keep them excited about what goes on in a school building. They need football to keep them engaged. And again, this news hits particularly hard for some athletes. Jake Rubley is the top rated football player in the state of Colorado and the 19th ranked quarterback in the country. He is now contemplating a move to Iowa for his senior year. Iowa officials have said they'll resume football on August 10th. And another top recruit, Sam Hart of Cherokee Trail, has indicated that he's now going to skip his senior year graduate early in December and attend Ohio State University this spring where he has a full ride. Much more to come on this for now. We're live in Denver. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. Russell, thank you very much.